This has to be one of the coolest consignments we've gotten into Mineral Exchange. As you all know, I own MineralExchange.com. It's my auction house. A lot of this is being auctioned tomorrow, but I wanted to make a video on it because I just thought this is way too cool to pass up. I'm doing the research and I'm just going, this is unreal. Uh, so basically, this is Gold Standard Corporation vintage gold coins, most of it in its original packaging, which is super cool to see that. This is a five ounce gold piece. This is a one ounce gold piece. There's a bunch of small fractionals here. It's roughly $50,000 worth of gold in front of me. And it's just crazy to see it all in the original pieces like this. Like this is still in the original plastic. It's like an original acrylic saying Gold Standard Corporation on it. And I wanted to basically first show you that this is what it looks like. And I'll let me grab the five ouncer here first. And then I want to show you the history behind this because it's just, it's way too cool. <laughs> this guy was, this guy was a wild, wild character who owned this company. Uh, so this is the five ounce gold piece. And as you can tell, says sound money means gold on the front. And all of these had Austrian economics, uh, major individuals in Austrian economics that are on the coins. And you can see on the back, it says the G symbol and five, which means five ounces of gold. On this one, you'll see just the G, which is one ounce of gold. So they were basically trying to recreate the gold standard. As you all know, we dropped off the gold standard in 1971. And this individual had the idea in the late 70s, early 80s to go, you know what? We're just going to recreate it ourselves as a corporation. And then a lot of turmoil happened in this individual's life. And we're going to get into that right now. So let me just move my screen over real quick. And I also have some photos on the screen here so you can see better close-ups than just me holding it on the screen here. I just wanted to have it in front of me to show you what it looks like. Um, in front of me. So let's go to the screen. All right. So shout out to this. Uh, it says chief coins.com. So shout out to them for doing this write up, but let's go through this. So gold standard corporation founded in Kansas city, Missouri by Conrad Braun circa 1977. So he founded the company in 1977 it says he purchased gold, uh, from the U S treasury in 1980. How ironic. So he purchases gold from the U.S. Treasury to reenact the gold standard, you know, less than 10 years after they dropped off the gold standard. That's not going to ruffle any feathers, right? Um, <laughs> but he puts on each coin for integrity. There is no substitute, which I love that phrase. Um, minted his own co coins and sold them out to the public and sold them to the public. The denomination of these coins and notes as well is the gold standard unit, which is what you see when I showed you on the back end here of this of the coins, you see that G, which is basically like the money symbol with, with the gold standard symbol, which super cool design, actually. I, I like the design. Along with the promotional slogans like sound, sound commercial banking, denationalization of money, and free choice of currencies... Each coin bears the image in a different free market economic theorist. Most of these individuals are Austrian economics. It's not all of them. Uh, and from commodity futures to an F... Wait, wait. I jumped a line here. From 1983 to 1989, as the price of gold and silver took a steep dive, Braun made some unwise investments in harassing his spouse and imprisoned for two years beginning in 1991. From jail, he ran GSC by phone. Then in 1993, three employees discovered that the company was worth was $2 million in debt. They turned records over to the FBI, which in turn raided the offices in September in February and emptied their vaults. Agents only found about $100,000 worth of gold while he was $2 million in debt. Uh, gold, silver, and platinum. In March, they began an inquiry, and Braun was accused of defrauding at least 550 investors, depositors. He was arrested in September of that year. In April of 1994, with, his, with the company Kaput, he pled guilty to five counts of mail wire fraud and five counts of interstate transportation of funds obtained by fraud for embezzlement. He was sentenced to 90 months in prison in order to pay nearly 2 million in restitution upon his release from federal custody in, in September of 2000, he was rearrested for violations of the conditions of his supervised release. He was set free once again in June of 2002 portions of the proceeding. 
I don't know how to pronounce that word. I'm not college educated. Were printed in the pages of the Kansas City Star. Another story was found in the offbeat news section of CNN, uh, which was been re- which has been reprinted by websites. Braun left a judge buzzing when he showed up at a Johnson County District Court wearing a bumblebee costume, <laughs> complete with yellow stripes, cloth wigs, and a foot long stinger. One of us. As you can tell to my fellow silver and gold stackers out there, this is clearly one of us out there. <laughs> this is contemptuously a, a satirical get up was his way of protest, protesting what he claims was a sting operation by prosecutors involving his former wife, brother-in-law, and the youngest of three sons. Their case involving blackmail charge alleges that he made a threat against his ex-wife's current husband. Someone close to Mr. Braun in KC states that when Conrad started his business, he was really a visionary. And I would agree. He's totally a visionary. I think this is incredible. The idea behind this is unbelievable, and the execution is unbelievable as well. And it just seems to like I would love to know more about how this all went down um, but on account of his personal tribulations, he was not able to sustain his success. The person says that he maintains that he was an innocent man who believes he was framed. He is convinced that he will prevail. And these are some examples of the coins that are right in front of you, but these are the silver examples, actually. So he had silver, 25 cent pieces, and this was to make, make the uh, to make one ounce of silver. So that was a quarter ounce of silver, half ounce of silver, full ounce of silver. And he did the same thing with gold, which is the pieces that I have in front of me. Uh, This goes on uh, for quite a bit, and he talks about the different denominations here as well. Conrad himself explains that sometimes difficult to follow way, explains in a sometimes difficult to follow way his lengthy legal battles at a blog, which he contributed entitled Sentencing Law and Policy. It all... Sentenced to 180 days for a misdemeanor. and So basically just goes over all of these different details of what goes on. And he, he still believes to this day that he was wrongly convicted. Uh, and it's just a crazy story behind it. So I'll, if you want to screenshot this or, or pause the video, you can read the rest of it. But I'm sure you don't want to hear me just reading and reading and reading. Um, but these are just, it's super, super cool, the idea behind it all. And I, th- th- as you can tell, there's a bunch of information here. So shout out to Chief of Coins to making that write up. Uh, so basically, I'm auctioning all of these pieces. They were all consigned to us. Luckily, this individual found us mineralexchange.com. They found my business. That's my auction house. This isn't. It's technically not a paid advertisement because I own the company and I'm doing this for free for the company. So uh, technically, <laughs> anyway. Uh, we're auctioning these off. These end tomorrow, all these pieces. So I got the five ounces currently at 8,100 on the bid. Uh, you have the one ounce, which is this one right here, is currently at 1625 on the bid. And it's I haven't even be able, been able to find original examples like this. This is the five ounce with the original wood box. All hasn't even been touched since when this was made in the 80s. So this is literally made in 1980. The Ludwig Mises, I probably pronounced that wrong, uh, Ludwig von, von Mises on the front of it that says sound money means gold. Uh, Just so cool to see the original packaging on these, as well as the acrylic one right here for the half ounce of gold and the full ounce of gold uh, with the original box I have on there as well, which is right here. And you can see the picture a lot more clear in front of me. Also, these are the fractional gold pieces. So we had uh, one-tenth fractional gold pieces and one-twentieth fractional gold pieces. Right now, we're running 10 one-tenths, totaling to an ounce of gold. I think we're under, yeah, we're under, we're just about at melt right now uh, with the 10% buyer's premium a bit over uh, the melt price there. But these are fractional tenths. I mean, tenths usually go for a strong premium. So these are actually going for a very fair price right now. This is the half-ounce gold. It's currently at 825. I'm sure a lot of people are waiting until tomorrow to bid. But a lot of crazy stuff on the block. This week, we got a lot of poured gold stuff like that as well. So shameless plug. Original GSA sealed GSAs. This is so cool that all three of these were sent to the original person back in the 70s, and they haven't even been opened. So if you collect, you know, Morgan Silver dollars, you know that sometimes these can be super high grade. Sometimes they can be toners. You don't know unless you open it. But what's cool is you never see these with the original registered box on it. You'll see the the re-put together boxes that people already checked and they glue it back shut or whatever. But when you use registered mail, they require you to use a certain type of um, paper on it. And so you know that it hasn't been opened. And these are all still stuck to the front of it, all delivered to the same person. Uh, so such a cool consignment, those that came in this week. And a lot of vintage silver, 
lot of rare vintage silver on the block as well. 51 items this week on mineralexchange.com. There'll be a link in the description. It's free to register, and also you get free access. Once you're registered to the website, you have free access to the auction history so you can see what stuff went for. You can search uh, in the top here for all live and completed auctions and see everything that we've done. So quite a uh, cool little group of information there that you can actually have access to all the auction history forever for free just to make a registered account. It's free to register an account. You just go to mineralexchange.com. Anyway, that's that. what's cool about this video is the stuff that I'm showing is actually available. And these actually end tomorrow, so you might want to act quick. But there will be more of this collection. It's quite a big collection. It's about $50,000 worth of gold standard um, gold here. So it's going to take a couple weeks. So this is the first week. There'll be another week tomorrow and maybe another week after that where we run all of this on the website. But first, I wanted to go over the history of this and just how wild of a history it is. And I wanted to show you the website for shameless plug of my company. By the way, I own 100% of Mineral Exchange. Nobody else owns it. So that's when I talk about mineralexchange.com, I'm talking about my company. Um, link will be in the description again. Uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I have more pictures of these items and all the stuff that I get in over time. Uh, a lot of crazy stuff. When you own the auction house, it's just a lot of crazy consignments coming in. So you get to see a lot of fresh material. And I usually post that all on my Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, at Rob Soltan on Instagram. Sometimes I'll say some controversial stuff on my Instagram as well. So if you want to follow for that, could be fun. <laughs> Another shameless plug, but this is something I also wanted to bring up in the video. I put some screenshots up behind that screen there so you could see some close-ups of what these pieces look like. So this one right here is one that we don't have posted this week. This will be posted next week. It's the acrylic of the 25 cent piece, which is a quarter ounce of gold. Uh, we do have the half ounce piece that's beneath that. We actually have it in the original acrylic, which is super cool. The proof in the original acrylic that hasn't even been opened. This one is being auctioned this week, and I think it's only at like eight fifty right now. Um, then we have this is a one ounce piece, which I have right here in front of me. And what's crazy is you look at over here; they even had certificates. So they have a gold standard certificate, certificate which has the little G logo there for their gold standard corp with the one, which means one ounce of gold. So they were even trying to come out with their own one ounce gold certificates back at that time. And so all of this crazy stuff seemed to happen to the individual who founded this company. Um, and here's another cool thing: is look at this pamphlet here. It says, pull that apart. Introducing the gold standard revolution with the pieces of gold on the front of it. And so obviously there was a big vision for this. You had the $10 piece, which means 10 ounces of gold, one ounce of gold, five ounces of gold. This is basically recreating what they had prior to 1971 in our country. Our money used to be gold. And so he was really quite a visionary. I think this is such a cool concept behind it. And people that are involved in gold and understand the gold standard, I think you can see how cool this really is. Um, so I just wanted to give it some give him some props. Uh, seems like he's had a lot of a pretty troubling past. Um, let me go back to this. People, you can hear in the background of this video, people are signing up to mineralexchange.com. Why would you not? You get free auction history to sign up on mineralexchange.com. <laughs> and you get to watch these in real time, see all the photos and everything in real time. So make sure to check it out. But quite a story with this individual. And I wanted to give him again, a little bit of props to say what a cool idea. You know, and what an execution. It's not easy to go this far, especially in the 70s. So these were made in the 80s and the 70s. Um, and just the idea behind it to make fractional gold pieces that all measure up to one ounce of gold. And that was the denomination that we were using. So it wasn't like he was just minting his own coins. He was also denominating these coins to be a new gold standard. And so his vision was just huge for somebody at the time. And I'm sure because they had just dropped off the gold standard with only... You know, I think he founded this in 1977. So just six years prior, five, six years prior, they dropped the gold standard. And then he goes out and creates the gold standard corporation. So taking things into his own hands didn't work out too well for him. But some really, really cool pieces left over to show his hard work. Um, again, this is the let me give you a little bit close up before we end this video. I wanted to show a little bit of a close up here. Such a cool little proof. Gold Standard Corporation with the original wood box. Let me show you the back side here. And I love that slogan, for integrity there is no substitute, five ounces of gold. So this would have been one of those $5 certificates you saw in that 
top of the pamphlet just a little bit before this. Um, let me go yeah, check out this one. This is the one ounce gold piece. Still untouched in the original packaging. Better pictures will be on the website if you want to check that out. As well on my, my Instagram. If you want to sub subscribe to the channel, check out the Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, at Rob Soltan Instagram. Register on the website. I know it's a lot of stuff, but I hope it's worth your while. I hope it's stuff that you actually think is pretty cool because that's been my, my vision was to create an auction house ever since I started in this business about seven years ago. And to have it operational route right now is just all I can say is thank you to everybody who's been supporting me there. And all I can do as the owner of the auction house is anybody who wins an auction, like over a thousand who spends a good amount of money on the site, I personally call you. And I really, really appreciate you. So you could get a good deal on a really cool piece like this. And you can connect with me if you want to connect with me. Uh, if not, like when I call, you can just hang up. That's cool too. <laughs> all right. But I will call you. Uh, so here's a close up of that half ounce piece. That This one is currently on the auction block this week. And then I have the one ounce gold pieces. I have a couple of these, so they'll be up on the website. We have one on the website this week, and there'll be a couple more going up over the weeks. These came with the original boxes, which is super cool. And then I have a one of the quarter that I just showed you before on there. Here's one of the quarters in the original acrylic proof. So some of these aren't proofs, and the ones in the original acrylic like that are proofs. Um, in the original box, like the five ounce is a, is a proof. This one's a proof. Some of them aren't proofs. Like this, one of these one ounce golds isn't a proof. Um, this one actually, it's kind of proofy, but some of them are a little bit more, um, doled out compar in comparison to the ones that are in the acrylics like that, that are untouched. Um, and then here we actually do have 10 of these on the block, 10 of these, uh, one tenths, and these are the Adams one tenths. And all of them on the back of them say for integrity, there is no substitute. Um, these are, I have 10 of those. And then I have a bunch of the one tenths or one, a bunch of the one tenths, a bunch of the one twentieths. And I have original rolls of them right here that are going to be going up on the block as well. So obviously this individual had a big, um, big ambition. And it's just crazy to be able to see this and actually have the original pieces in the original wrapping and everything like that to see what that vision really was. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and um, props to this individual for, for trying as, as hard as he did to recreate a gold standard and having these pieces left over to show for it. Uh, really, really um, excited to be able to auction these and bring these to market with mineralexchange.com. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you at the next video. Signing out.